Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be discussing briefly about the types of automation framework. Before getting into the types of framework, let's cover object testing in automation. So any automation tool has the capability of a feature known as record and run. For example, we have a web application or a desktop application. There will be so many elements inside the application. If we use the record feature of the tool, it will start recording the flow of our cursor movements. Also, it will capture all the properties of the elements. By properties here, I mean the X path, name, ID, etc. Of, uh, of the elements. Don't worry right now, we have detailed lectures on the element properties later in the course. After finishing the recording, we can use the run feature which will verify GUI object properties, images and text and it will also run our flow of actions which we have already recorded. So in this case in the slide you can see that the automation tool first records the object properties, images and text and then we run are the same to verify the all the GUI object properties, images and text. We will be having detailed lectures later in the course where we'll be using the record feature of an automation application and then we can record the, our object cursor movements in the application and then we will run those same for our uh, test cases. Moving on to the different types of framework, there are two different types of automation framework. One is data-driven framework, the second is keyword-driven framework. To explain data-driven framework, think of an application. For example, the flight application which you saw in the previous videos. There can be so many test cases based on different input data. For example, different origin, different destinations, different class of travel. For this type of testing, we maintain all the data in an Excel sheet, CSV or any kind of a data management application. And our automation tool, such as Robot Framework, it will extract the data from the sheet and populates the data into the application. Now, in this uh, slide, you can see that we have a da uh, data table created which uh, identified uh, the data based on the different test condition. It will extract and validate the data you, uh, of the Excel sheet inside the automation tool. And finally, the tool populates the data into the application and performs the check. This is known as data-driven framework because for one test case, we have multiple sets of data. We will be having practical sessions in further videos where you will get more insight knowledge and hands-on practice for the data-driven test automation. Now, the second type of automation tool is known as keyword-driven, also which is known as scriptless test automation. First, let's try to understand what is a keyword. Let's again take an example of a login functionality of an application, uh, say a Facebook application. Every time you open Facebook, you have to log in. Now imagine you have various test cases and every step of a test case is logged into an application. So here we consider login as one keyword, which we will use in every test case. Thus, it is known as a keyword driven approach, which in turn means that we have used, we will be using the same keyword again and again. So in the slide, you can see that the first step is that we create the keyword with no or minimal code, which is also known as a scriptless approach of creating a keyword. Then our automation tool parses and executes the uh, keywords for each test case, which in turn will call the supporting libraries to perform the action of the application. This was just the basics to learn about the keyword data uh, and the data driven approach of framework. We will be using these concepts which we have just learned in brief about the frameworks in the later videos and we will create keywords from scratch with no or minimal coding required and we will use these keywords for our test cases. Finally, let's try to learn how the robot framework process flow works. Now we have understood that there is a concept of data driven and there is a concept of keyword driven. But how we use, how robot framework uses these concepts into, the, uh, into their process flow. 
So first you have, uh, imagine you have test cases written inside robot framework. I know we haven't uh, seen the robot framework till now, but in the later videos, we will be having, we will be creating test cases from scratch. So for now, imagine that there are test cases written inside robot framework. So as a user, you will trigger slash play the test cases inside these uh, robot framework. The first thing that the robot framework does is that it will call the keywords for each test case. And then the scripts which are to be executed will will execute the intended functionality with the help of sub, uh, supporting libraries. Finally, using these supporting libraries, the scripts will be executed and the results will be stored. Uh, by the results, I mean the data screenshots will be stored in the respective folders. And the last step it does is it closes all the data tables, screen, GUI applications, browsers, and uh, give us the results. Now, we will be creating and executing end-to-end -end test cases in Robot Framework from scratch. So even if you are a little confused right now with the process, uh, Robot Framework process, which I've just explained you, don't worry at all. We will be covering everything in detail with and there will be a lots of hands-on practice for you guys. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.